Hi, I'm Moss. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So something that you'd probably know if you know me um, is that I love zebra print. I love zebra print. Zebra print, iconic. It's like a space cow print. I love it. I have a zebra brush. I have zebra earrings. I have a zebra bathrobe. I have a zebra zebra and I have a zebra wheelchair and I recently got a zebra sheet. <laughs> so I am going to be making a dress out of this. Oh my God, look at how much material I have to work with. That's a lot of zebra. So the first thing we're going to do is the easiest part, which is the skirt. Skirts are so easy. You just cut out a rectangle or whatever and gather it and then put it around your waist and you're done. It's it's a little bit more common. It's that simple. Yeah, it's that simple. So first things first, to figure out how long I want the skirt to be, where, it want, where I want it to land. I want it to be just under the knees. So because you can always make it shorter, but you can never make it longer, I'm going to add a couple of inches. Do I need an iron? Yes. Do I have an iron? No. So we're going to do our best. Now to add a zipper, of which I only have one and it is not very long and the color doesn't match but it's a zipper so it'll work. This is only the second time I've ever done a zipper, so it's sloppy, but uh, it works, so that's good. Woo! So I can get it on and off. It is kind of loose, so I'm going to just take it in a bit. Skirt's all done. Do we like? What do we think? Guys, I feel so cute. <laughs> this is amazing. I forgot to mention my zebra purse earlier. Um, so quick break. I'm going to go get some groceries, and then I'll come back and make the boss sometime. <laughs> groceries acquired. Okay, okay. So groceries have been acquired, which is good. Um, so now it's time to work on the bodice. I'm wanting it to be like a halter top. Um, that should be easy to make. I've never made it for a person before. I've only made it for dolls. So, um, let's figure out if we can do this. I was like, oh my god, I wish I had some paper that was big enough so I could make a kind of a pattern. And then I realized, oh, I have wrapping paper. So, I'm using wrapping paper to kind of make a bodice piece. So the strap would be longer, but um, this kind of basic shape could add a dart under the boob. I think it looks good.
Okay, time to turn these uh, inside out. Let's see if my hand will fit. Nope. So we're going to use a knitting needle. Knitting needles are so useful for turning, like, uh, when you're sewing, turning things. Very useful. Okay, first try. Not bad. Except the stripes are going the wrong freaking way. But um, that's okay. You can fix that. I'll just try again. But to be honest, the design's pretty good. The top's pretty loose. I could probably bring it in right here. I could add darts if I wanted to. I kind of like it the way it is. So, almost done. <laughs> I don't have enough fabric. <laughs> I was careless in cutting this panel, and I know I was. No, wait. No, I don't think I have, no. Ha ha, I do have enough fabric. I just need to it, calculate it right. It's good. Seam ripping time. to mention earlier my zebra slippers do I have them um, and uh, I'm going to leave the bodice and the skirt unattached because that way I can have multi full outfit Check it out with the wheelchair, okay? A uh, yes, please. Now, for the considerable amount of the rest of the fabric, I have plans. <laughs> I want to make a dress for my dolly, and my dolly's not here, so I'm going to be asking her sister Louise if she will be our model today. Hey Louise, will you be our model today? She says yes! Yay! Thank you Louise. So Louise is currently modeling my first attempt at the doll sized halter dress. Um, I've, it was my first attempt, so I've definitely improved. Um, but this is the kind of basic design we wanted to go for. Um, so, thank Louise for modeling. Thank you, Louise. Okay. So, I'm going to cut this straight. And then, take off her dress and approximate where you want the skirt to land. And then on a scrap piece of paper, I'm going to sketch out the design of the bodice. This is general approximation. So, 
that work? I think that'll work. Louise has to take leave. Thank you, Louise. Sarah will be taking over for now. Thank you, Sarah. Now, to see if it fits. I don't have any pins, so I'm using needles. So we're going to needle this in place. Look at the skirt. Isn't she pretty? And then the bodice, it needs an iron, but uh, I don't have an iron, so <laughs> it is what it is. Oh, bother. I did this wrong. Excuse me. There we go. It's pinned correctly this time. Let's put it all together. That's so cute. Now I just need to sew the bodice and the skirt together. Adding darts. Ta-da! Honestly, it's giving more Beetlejuice than Zebra, but I dig the vibe. To finish it, I need Velcro. I do not have Velcro, so I'm gonna leave it as is until I get Velcro. But, um, isn't she pretty? We met! Here it is on Louise. Here it is on Emily. Okay, I think we have just enough for about one more. You know, I think that's not bad for one sheet. Yeah, I'm not, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. If you made it this far in the video, thank you very much. Um, maybe think about, maybe do it a like and subscribe. Leave a comment, tell me what you think. The Zebra Gang. I don't wanna hear about the Team TARDIS or the FAM or the Gucci Gang. It's the Zebras. That's our mascot. That's our mascot. Bye.